If you grew up to be an unrepentant nerd and or bisexual, you probably had one of these three phases, or all at once. An Egyptology phase, a Greek slash Roman mythology phase, a dinosaur phase. Hi friends! Hi! My name is Mia and this is My Virtual Vanity, a place where we both love makeup and we're quite critical of it. If you'd like to see more of my makeup, head on over to my Instagram where I post pretty looks, flat lays of products that I'm currently trying or that I'm revisiting, and dank meme in the stories. Today I want to talk to you guys about one of my favorite makeup finds of 2020, and that is the Egyptian Zessi British Museum collaboration. This was a limited edition collaboration that was sold in the British Museum gift shops for quite a while and it was pulled a while back because I think their contract ran out or something but they keep selling these on their official websites on the online store and on their AliExpress website. I got it off the AliExpress website, it arrived in one month and a half or so. I initially filmed this intro with my look but my camera did me dirty and the footage is blurry except for the look itself so you'll have to put up with my bare face while I tell you all about these beautiful products and with my last impressions. Today I will be reviewing three types of items for products in total. The first one is the Anderson Cat Zessy palette and this is how it looks like inside. First of all, I want to say that this is very heavy, luxurious packaging. I could win the war with this, it could be considered a blunt weapon, could crack men's skulls with it. It feels very luxe, very well thought of, you can feel the texture on the packaging on the embossing it's just very subtle you you don't notice this until you take your hands through it i put it as a centerpiece in my vanity because it is so beautiful the palette has several different shade types in it so several formulas the first one is your standard matte which is quite blendable and creamy a little bit powdery there is some pancake up with nothing too bothersome you then have a standard opaque shimmer that is highly reflective another shimmer with translucent base type that is highly glittery and can be used on its own or as a topper which is personally my favorite type of shimmer formula and my favorite type of shimmer in this palette as well you also have a creamy almost wet feeling formula in one of the shades that is like a wetter ColourPop Super Sock shadow and then a pressed glitter which is completely useless the one dud shade in the whole palette I'll talk more about each shade and how it performs after I show you my look. But let's chat a bit about the other products that I got. The second product that I got was the Zessi powder. And this is how it looks like. I forgot to mention the palette has a mirror and so does the powder. The powder also comes with a little puff. It's translucent but it does have some tint to it. Other two items that I got were these gorgeous lipsticks. Again, very luxurious, very heavy packaging and what really impressed me was the attention to detail both outside on the packaging and on the lipstick tube itself. It has this obelisk shape which is particularly pleasant to use because with the sharper edges you can trace your lips really precisely and then with the, you know, the, the head of it, the blunt part of it you can just fill in the line on the lipstick tube itself you have these beautiful hieroglyphic indentations and to quote a friend of mine a male friend of mine that is really supportive said that i should fucking quit it with the creepy hieroglyphic lipsticks because the last thing we need in 2020 is mummies and like a mummy's curse or something just <laughs> These are beautiful, these are creamy, comfortable, quite long lasting, they do leave a slight stain behind, especially the red one. But as far as bullet lipsticks go, I think they do last pretty, pretty nicely on the lips. These have been the items that I bought, let's talk a bit about how they arrived. Very beautiful cardboard packaging, completely sealed, airtight. 
you also had like a slip with the ingredients in both Chinese and in English. I tossed those, I don't hoard packaging, but I felt that was a really nice touch for, touch for whoever has concerns regarding, um, you know, the ingredients. Zassi is a Chinese brand and I do feel that they bring something quite new and fresh. They keep having these art inspired collections that just tickle my fancy immensely, immensely. Okay, I'm gonna stop rambling. Let me show you the look that I did with this palette and then I'm gonna show you two more looks while I talk about it, how it performs. I'm going to talk a bit about how I like the powder. See you guys soon. Let's start doing some makeup. With a fluffy blending brush, I'm going to go with the yellow as a transition shade. As you can see, this is quite pigmented from the get-go and blends nicely. There is some kick up in the pan, so if you don't like that, be wary. With a slightly tinier blending brush, I'm going to grab the uh, orange shade on the second to last row and deepen out the crease and outer V. If things are a bit imprecise, it is literally my fault because I'm blind as a bat. I've got severe myopia, so it, it's a struggle to do my makeup like this in the front of the camera, which is why I don't do many reviews and tutorials. With a flat brush, I'm going to take the last shade in the first row of the palette, so this reddish terracotta red and placing it on the outer V. Pat, pat, softly patting so the color builds up. Uh, I have a harsh line here, so I'm taking a clean brush and just blending that out. People keep, a keep asking me what's my secret to soft blends, and it's literally just being as blind as a bat and forcing me to use very soft, fluffy brushes to get that great blend. That is, that is literally it. The fluffiest the brush, the fluffiest the blend, the closer to God. I'm going to be taking that sparkly blue shade which is truly the highlight of the palette for me and I'm gonna apply it on the lid boom it reminds me a bit of an Ab nabla alchemy on steroids but not as fine and translucent as nabla alchemy is also wow blue lid warm crease Fucking enough, so innovative. See how glittery this is? So if you don't like glitter, excessive sparkle, and you just like satin-ish shimmers, mm, I'm not gonna have a good time with this. I'm going to take the um, second to last gold shimmer on the second row, place it in the middle of the lid. I think that's too on the left, but it is what it is. And now I'm going to take the second matte on the first row and just add it on the lower lash line for a bit of definition.
with a very tiny flat paddle brush I'm going to take the first shimmer in the first row which is quite translucent and place it in the corner of the eye I literally can't see what I'm doing so I hope I'm placing it right yeah that works that worked let's just add a little bit of lipstick before I go into lashes I think I'm going to go with the red which is the shade uh, 309 uh, the packaging on the lipstick is really heavy. You've got these beautiful indentations. So, so luxurious feeling. I hope you guys enjoyed the look and it was quite you know exemplifying of how these perform let's chat about a bit about the powder so I love the powder all over the face it is quite smoothing quite silky blurs a little I'm not a fan of it under the eyes I need to use the lightest hand so it doesn't get creepy under the eyes which is so strange because it's so beautiful all over the face but maybe it's just me and I just have difficult eyes, I don't know. The lipsticks, I just sung the praises earlier. Let's go a bit more into detail regarding the palette. Let's talk a bit about um, the looks that I did with it. I kept using it over the weeks ever since I got it. This look is a colorful green-blue look. Second look is a... Um, orange warm toned look so i tried to use as many shades in these looks as i could as a first impression and then keep using them aside from that uh brown not mingling really well with the green i don't really have any other critiques everything blends really well the shimmers look particularly beautiful blended together and it's it's beautiful for warm looks uh, very fitting since you know egypt is a very very warm country Staying power is about six to seven hours with primer, but the caveat is that we are in the middle of a very hot Romanian summer, 35 degrees Celsius. So I'm not sure if actually they are like average staying power or I'm just sweating them off because I don't have any AC in the house. So they'll probably last longer come winter. So let's talk a bit about the formulas in this palette. The mattes are beautiful and blendable. One thing to know though is that if you try to mix this green and this brown, it tends to get a bit muddy. I think it's because of the difference in undertones. I think that if you pull another palette, colder brown to mix with this green, you wouldn't have any issues. Other than that, I, I like the way the green performs and I like the way the green performs with the other shades. I just don't know what's up with this brown. The brown does perform well with the other mattes in this palette, so it's just these two just don't play nicely. The yellow is really pigmented and nice, which I enjoy. I particularly love all of these special glitter toppers type of shades. This creamy shade should be treated as a cream shadow, best applied with fingers. Everything here best applied with fingers except the mattes. It does take just a little bit to blend, but I think it's because it's such a creamy dense formula shimmers standard metallic beautiful shimmers nothing to complain about this one gl glitter shade though absolute fucking trash basura garbage if you will um the only one that in the shade if i could replace it with anything else i i completely would but i'm afraid of ruining the packaging <laughs> nine out of ten for this whole collection I absolutely love it and it's everything that my Egyptology dreams were made of. I'm not going to lie, I initially bought it just because of the packaging because Egyptian mythology is so fascinating and what I particularly enjoy about Egyptian mythology is not only its 
layers and very deep approach to spirituality both in life and the afterlife and the care with which people took care of both their lives and their lives beyond and the preparation for the life beyond but also the fact that their gods they had beef with each other but they always helped mortals to a degree so if you look at like greek gods they would just fuck each other around but they would fuck with mortals too like they would act as if we were playthings there for their amusement egyptian gods they would like cut each other into pieces backstab each other lie to each other love each other but overall they kind of kept mortals out of it they've got a particularly intricate type of mythology and if you take a look at the egyptian book of the dead for example or how they thought the soul and human body was merged together with several degrees and facets facets of the soul for each part of a person absolutely beautiful and, and fascinating look in conclusion i love this my little egyptology loving heart loves this it's high quality to boot uh, i bought this because of the packaging i was ready to think that it's mediocre quality and just use it for decoration and for the occasional look but these, this astounded me and it's by far my favorite makeup purchase that i did in recent years i'm not going to lie i cannot recommend this enough so if you are interested in that and the formulas sound like something you might enjoy then I do recommend it. This was it guys, this was my review of the Zessie Egypt collection. Thank you guys so so much for watching and I hope I'll see you the next time. Have a wonderful evening, morning, second breakfast, third lunch or whatever it is you're from. Bye!